What's the first thing you do when you find out a major player like Google has mapped out the entire world digitally? Well, you go look at your house, of course, from every angle, especially if you can do that in street view, meaning you can see your house from the perspective of walking around your hometown, down the street. But did you know, this isn't possible for most Africans. What is Street View? Well, according to the Google Street View website, Street View by Google Maps is a virtual representation of our surroundings on Google Maps, consisting of millions of panoramic images. Street View's content comes from two sources, Google and contributors. Through our collective efforts, we enable people everywhere to virtually explore the world. And according to a Smithsonian Magazine article, Street View's mission in part is to act as a digital mirror for the physical world, allowing users to virtually visit places they might never see in person. Have you ever used Google Street View to see what a place looks like physically before driving there? Or perhaps you've taken a virtual tour of the wonders of the world. Have you gone to see the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem or the Arc de Triomphe in Paris? Maybe you've gone to see Iceland virtually. Well, have you ever tried to walk the streets of Cairo, Egypt or see the cave church also in Cairo? Or how about Liberia, the only previous American settlement in Africa? Even though you can easily walk the little alleys of the old city of Jerusalem, you can't even see detailed maps of Liberia on Google. Never mind going into street view. And unfortunately, the same goes for most African countries. See, when you open Google Maps and navigate to anywhere in Europe or the US and drag the little orange guy from the bottom of your right hand screen around, you'll see lots of blue lines. And those lines are where Google Street View cars have driven around and taken 360 degree photos. So it's basically a visual interactive map of the world. Now let's try dropping him here somewhere where there are lots of blue lines. Now we can basically walk around that road and get a street view idea of the area virtually. But when you drop him somewhere remote without any blue lines, he just pops back to his box in the right hand corner. And that means that Street View isn't available for that location. Sometimes you'll see some blue dots. You can also drag the little guy over them and drop him there. Those are called photospheres. Photospheres are photo bubbles or 360 degree photos of a specific location. These also give you some idea of what a place is like. There are a lot of photospheres around famous locations such as the Arc de Triomphe in Paris which is meant to give you an idea of what it feels like to personally be at that location. Well, if you head over to Africa, you'll see there are significantly less photospheres in Africa than almost anywhere else. And if you notice something else, there are also very few blue lines in Africa. So let's compare it to Europe and North America. There are almost no street view lines in Africa. According to Wikipedia, Africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent after Asia. And it consists of at least 54 countries. The estimated population of Africa is more than a billion and a quarter people, according to the UN. So what happened to the digital mirror for the physical world when we're excluding one of the biggest continents almost entirely from street view? We have what can be called a dark continent on our map again. Well, I'm not the first person to notice this. Zimbabwean American Tawanda Kanhema has also seen the gaps. He's actually added some parts of Zimbabwe, Namibia, the Victoria Falls, etc. to Street View, using his own money and borrowing a camera from Google. Here are some excerpts from his interview with Google about the matter that is available to view on the front page of their Street View website. 
I'll also link the video in the description below so you can see the full video for yourself. There's also an article I've read about him there, as well as links to more videos with interviews with him. Maps are inherently political and maps do really go a long way in enhancing representation. When I first started using Street View a couple of years ago, the first thing that struck me was that much of Southern Africa, and Africa for that matter, is completely you know, underrepresented and many cities are missing from, from Street View. Once on the ground, you realize it's more than just capturing imagery. It's about relationships. So I encountered businesses that had been trying for years to change their locations on Google Maps. Uh, when you go to Victoria Falls, people are not picking up a phone book to look up a restaurant. People just search. So most of the business discovery is based on search and word of mouth. So adding these additional layers of information to, to Street View and Google Maps has really actually begun to make an impact on local businesses. So now onto the real question. Why are such huge areas of Africa left unmapped on Street View? Well, I haven't been able to find any solid answers. Either Africa isn't considered a priority or Google might be too scared to map Africa. Have a look at this coverage map of Google Street View with planned regions according to Wikipedia. For a lot of Africa, there is no planned coverage. At all. So, what can be done about this lack of mapping? Well, Google uses two ways of getting street views. The one is by their cars driving around locations they send them to. And the second is by volunteers that collaborate with them. So these volunteers can either use some of Google's equipment or their own. And while it would seem that Google isn't too keen to offer up their street view cars to do a map of Africa, that doesn't mean it can't be done. I can't fill in the gaps, and Tawanda Kanhema can't fill in all the gaps. Not by ourselves. Because our beautiful Africa is too big and diverse. But you can do something small to help with the technology you already have in your pocket. No, you don't have to donate, and you don't have to pay. Every African with a smartphone can simply take a photosphere where they are and we can start filling in the gaps in Africa. We can show off our beautiful continent to the world and Google and prove to them that we're also worthy to be mapped on Street View. That's it. That's all I want you to do. I'll explain how to do that at the end of the video. Just go outside to a place you think would make a nice picture and take a photosphere and upload that. Your small act can make a difference. If you're super passionate about photography and really want to contribute to mapping your street and city, watch the second video that will explain how to apply for a camera that Google can loan you to map your piece of Africa. It seems impossible for one person to move a mountain but if a lot of Africans do only a little bit, we can do a big thing together. We can put Africa on the map. Just imagine seeing this soon. How do I take a photosphere? You'll need a smartphone for this. Then, simply download the Street View app from Google. If you have an Android phone, this will be from Google Play. Otherwise, if you have an iOS device, this will be from the App Store. Next, you need to go outside to a place that would make a nice photo. Then, tap on the camera icon on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen and click take photosphere. 
Simply follow the instructions the app will give you from there to take all the pictures required for the photosphere and then click on the select option. Select the photosphere you want to upload. Next you'll need to sign into or create a Google account. If you already have a Gmail account, you can simply sign into that and then tap on the upload icon. Finally, tap the publish button. And that's it. You're done. Thank you so much for doing your bit to put Africa on the map. If you feel like sharing, you may share about your experience on social media with the hashtag put Africa on the map. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up so we can get it out to as many people as possible and share it far and wide so that we can put Africa on the map again. Bye.